from Dynamic Transitions Limited, who specialise in helping senior executives manage their mavericks. Please welcome Judith Germain. Hello, everybody. Wasn't the other speakers great? I have a request for you. It's a very simple request. I want you to love your mavericks. Yeah, I'm not crazy. I want you to go through your organisation and find that 20%, that 20% of your talent pool that is meeting their objectives, their targets, the bringing in the profits, that are 20% that your clients love. But they're also the troublesome talent that's taken up 80% of your time by causing problems. And I want you to get hold of these troublesome talent and I want you to love them. Maxwell said, leadership is influence, nothing more and nothing less. And what I want you to do is to create new and better influence than you've had before. Because times are changing. Businesses are different. Things are happening faster and quicker and there's more competitors out there. So we need to do something different. Can you imagine the principal Skinner getting hold of Bart Simpson and saying, sit down in class. What would we expect to see? Skateboard, you hear the cry, eat my shorts. And he's on a skateboard and he's gone. What a waste of that creative talent. And I don't want you to do the same. I don't want you to see your talent skate out of the door. So I've got another request. I want to ask you, now I want to implore you to hire that maverick, but beware of the consequences. So what consequences could there be? Anybody? Upsetting corporate values. Upsetting corporate values, exactly. That's, that's a good one. Upsetting anybody else? Anybody else in your organisation? Upsetting other people. That's one of the things that these troublesome talents are very good at doing. One more? Yeah, being individuals rather than a team player. It's a good one. If I said to you, JFK and Martin Luther King, what does that mean to you? Great people. Great people. Else? Great leaders. Initiating change. Initiating change. That's a very good one. Inspirational. Inspirational. Yeah, they were. They were all of these things. But let me give you an alternative view. In their time, they were considered the greatest mavericks of all. You had JFK and the Bay of Pigs. There were plenty of Americans in the world, in fact, looking at them and saying, what's he doing? And then Martin Luther King, he was a big maverick. He said, you know what? Things can be different. So sometimes our biggest mavericks are indeed our greatest leaders. So I think it's time that we really need to manage our mavericks. So if you want to find out more, then please contact me. Thank you very much.